Two oil spills over recent weeks have prompted calls for a study to be done on the potential impacts on the environment. The spills originated from remediation being done by National Grid. A portion of the land will become the Tidewater Landing Soccer Stadium. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in Pawtucket with what local environmentalists are saying tonight. Anita. Well, Shannon, how much oil seeped into this Seekonk River at this former gas manufacturing plant is unknown, which is concerning for environmentalists. But what is known, according to the DEM, is the dead fish found along the riverbank are not related to the spill. One local wildlife photographer disagrees. Oil spills in the Seekonk River are raising red flags for Alex Hornstein, a wildlife photographer who reported the spill to the DEM and EPA. The system that was designed to protect the environment clearly did not actually uh, solve the problem here. The DEM says National Grid assumed responsibility for the oil spills and agreed to put up protective barriers to collect the oil and prevent further spread. But a recent storm caused the oil to breach those barriers. I don't doubt that the barrier might have been breached during a storm. That's another problem. But it, no matter what, it's, you can't question that it didn't fix the problem. Alex and a state representative want answers from National Grid. Providence Rep Rebecca Kislak said we need the impact to be studied and documented so we can be sure that the site has been sufficiently remediated after the spill and we are better prepared for our future. The Seekonk River flows down into Narragansett Bay. The bay's keeper says the waterways are resilient, but the cumulative effect of oil spills can impact wildlife. So it's always concerning and it's always something you want to make sure is, is dealt with as quickly as possible and prevented to the best extent possible. DEM says reports of dead fish along the riverbank are not related to the spill. A cold shock is believed to have caused the washed up fish, all of them the menhaden species. National Grid will not be fined, according to the DEM. Now, National Grid tells us they are taking further action to limit any future impacts. Now, the city of Pawtucket says they will make sure that the situation is rectified. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. First tonight, new reaction to a pair of oil spills on the Seekonk River in Pawtucket. We're told it's tied to work being done by National Grid on land that's slated to be a part of the Tidewater Landing Project. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke with a photographer who reported the spill and tells us about the environmental concerns. The spill originated from a former gas manufacturing plant that National Grid is working to remediate. How much oil seeped into the Seekonk River is unknown. That's a cause of concern for locals and environmentalists alike. It's in Pawtucket where the Blackstone River becomes the Seekonk River, flowing down into Narragansett Bay. Now a portion of the Seekonk River is contaminated from two oil spills, but how much oil is in the water is unclear. It's never good when you don't know and, um, you know, typically you always want to assume the worst and uh, hope for the best. National Grid is working to remediate this contaminated site, a portion of which will become the Tidewater Landing Project, which includes a soccer stadium. The DEM says National Grid assumed responsibility and put up booms to collect the oil. In a statement, National Grid said RIDEM and the National Response Center were notified of the breach immediately and were taking additional actions to limit any further impacts, including deploying more soft and hard booms and additional matting for absorption. But the oil that seeped into the river breached the booms during a recent storm. Alex Hornstein is a wildlife photographer and reported the spill to the DEM and EPA. I'd like to see an impact study on how this actually affected this uh, environment that all of us are around and live right next to. The Narragansett Bay Keeper says any size oil spill is concerning. So anytime you have any kind of release or a, an oil spill or any kind of petroleum product, it, it can have an impact on those species. It has an impact on the habitat, both in the water and on the shoreline. Now, Pawtucket's mayor calls this situation unfortunate and says they will ensure that this gets rectified. The DEM says National Grid will not be fined. In Pawtucket, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.